and memory, frozen in crystal. A young man called Noel appears in the village. At the summit of Yashus stands the ruins of the Farsia city, Padra. This was the capital of a flourishing civilization storied in the annals of Grand Pulse. Here, the young Hope Estheim is leading the academy in an effort to learn more about the mysterious Oracle Drive. However, this world is not like the world of 10 AF that Noel and Sarah had visited previously. Things have changed. in the first place. History here has changed. If the paradox didn't happen, then maybe Hope never had any reason to come here. There's still the Oracle Drive. Maybe that would have been enough of a draw for him. Only one way to find out. change the past. Is this what she meant? The eclipse doesn't happen because we solve the paradox in the future? Maybe. But we can't be sure. But I don't get it. I can see how the past can affect the future. But how does it work in reverse? It makes no sense at all. Yeah, well, damned if I know. Maybe Hope or Alyssa can tell us.
on. Welcome home. How did you... Yule... Did you come through the gate too? The one you met was a different Yule. A Yule from the future. What? Uh, so, you don't know me either? I know about you. I've been watching you both. You can see the future, can't you? I can trace the timeline. I see the future, and lead others along the correct path. I came here to confirm something I already know. You and I are the same. What do you mean? You, too, can show others the way. Get it? How are we the same? It looks like Yule lives in this time too. No, are you okay? Yeah, it was just so unexpected. It threw me for a loop. her. I wonder what she meant by that. She also said you can show others the way. It sounded like I'm supposed to do something. Like a mission or a destiny. Maybe your job is to show us the true timeline. You mean like what I'm doing now? Changing the future and all that? journeyed through time, solved the paradox, and met two girls who looked exactly the same. And now, at last, we found our way back to Hope's Oracle Drive. He'll be waiting for us. Or perhaps he won't. Maybe after all this time, Hope has forgotten us. I was afraid of what would happen if no one was here. I guess the ruins were interesting enough. They didn't need the paradox to draw them here. I don't know how some people can be so forgetful. feels so amazing! Time for my feathers to soak up some of that good old vitamin D for extra fluff! Oh! Chocobo Galina! Sorry, didn't see you there.
you for shopping here on this bright and sunny day. <sighs> I think it's time to hit the beach, don't you? What? Did I miss something? Putting so much effort into resolving the paradox. I heard they have a hell of a budget. Yes. Um. I'm with the Academy. I've been here for a while, researching the gates for the most part. There haven't been any reports of major paradox effects. However, the director ordered me to come here and investigate the area. Dogs make much better. The director's really taking it to heart. Why is it so crowded today? was solved, the eclipse never darkened the sky in the first place. No one remembered that Noel and I had been here. But even so, Hope was there, waiting for us. Of course, his memories had changed. We had our ten-year reunion all over again, as if our last meeting had never happened. When we explained his memories had changed because the paradox had been dissolved, Hope believed us without question. And then... I have something I want to show you. Identify the location or circumstances. There is one thing we're sure about. And remember, we don't know what era this is. Lightning is alive in that place. In my memory, Lightning disappeared after the battle with Orphan. But she's living somewhere in the future. So it's not just a dream, is it? She's out there. Then I'm going to find her. Koopa Koopa? And you will find her, Sarah. After all, you traveled through time and found me. <laughs> Many years of research have finally borne fruit. It all began with the Oracle Drive. 
We excavated it from ruins many centuries old. Yet it recorded an image of Cocoon, supported on a pillar of crystal. It was an impossibility, an enigma. Impossible, but a reality nonetheless. This is when I learned what I must do. If it was possible to journey through time and look into the future, then it must also be possible to travel backwards and change the past. Right. I wanted to change history, make things better, not just bring lightning back, but Vanille and Fang and my mother. So that's what your research was about. <laughs> Chasing the impossible, you might say. But you've made me realize something. It's clear to me now we are not the only ones who are intervening in history. Oh? The past has already been changed. Sarah, you are the only one who remembers a time when lightning survived the fall of Cocoon. Yeah. Director! Necessarily rewritten, it could be the original prophecy restored as it once was. Perhaps a continuation of the first recording. If this is showing us the future, then someday Cocoon will fall. No, you told me in your time Cocoon didn't exist like it does now. Yeah, it came to ground long before I was born. After it happened, the whole world just fell apart pretty much. But who made it fall? Could it have been Caius? No. He couldn't do that. When is Cocoon supposed to fall? How many years? Is it soon? No. Not for a couple of centuries. Oh, that's a long time from now. I mean, none of us will even be alive to see it. <sighs> but others will. Hm. Cocoon will fall into Grand Pulse. Imagine the catastrophe. Think how many lives will be destroyed. Right. That's the future I lived in. It doesn't have to happen. No, we can change the future. We can stop Cocoon from falling and make your world a better place. Yeah, but how? You think you can go to the time when it falls and hold it up yourselves? Do you even have a gate to take you there? Well, we... It might not be necessary to travel to the specific time and place. How so? The future depends on what we do now, right? Yes, there is a chance Cocoon will fall, but we can start working now to prevent it from happening. Right. But what if you can't hope? We can at least work to mitigate the damage. If we begin our research now, we have time. Then, should Cocoon indeed fall, we can help protect the planet and save the victims. Okay, let's do it. We could try to solve things at the other end in the future. While you start preparing in the here and now, Yes, let's change the future. If you change the future... If you change the future, you change the past. Sarah? It's nothing. Hope, thank you for the help. Time will separate us, but we'll share a common goal. Hmm. Hope dreamed of changing the past. The weight of history drove him forward. But now... He's turning to face the future. A future even more frightening than the past. Sarah, do you believe too? Do you believe in your own past?
Lightning was fighting in Valhalla. That's where I met her. And that's when she told me to come and find Sarah. I see. Valhalla, otherwise known as the Unseen World. I think Lightning wants us to fix the timeline. Put it back how it was. Maybe that's why she gave me the power to travel through time and control monsters. She was unable to do anything on her own, so she turned to the one person she trusted more than anyone. Yes, it is possible, although the idea raises even more questions. What do we have to do to find lightning? Solve the paradoxes, correct the timeline. Restore history as it should have been. Then you will find lightning alive. Of that, I'm sure. In that history, does Cocoon stay in the sky? No. You were born into a different future. In our world, in our future, Cocoon survives. When the paradoxes are eliminated, Cocoon remains safe in the sky. You're saying I was born into a future created by the warping of a timeline? Yes, I believe so. My task is to save Cocoon. And we have to travel across time to protect the future. If we succeed, you'll be reunited with Lightning. I guess we know what we have to do. It seems unbelievable the Crystal Pillar could become so fragile. It was weakened, little by little, over many centuries. The war was simply the straw that broke Cocoon's back. But what does Caius want? It seems unbelievable the Crystal Pillar could become so fragile. It was weakened, little by But what does Caius want? Believe in your future. You can bring the people you love together again. No. You know, I started this journey hoping to find my sister. But now, I want more. I want to save the future. So do I, Sarah. So do I. Time to travel again. Koopal? Find the gate and the key, Koopal! Right now, we don't have a clue where the artifact might be. There are still some places we haven't checked out. We should try the director came by earlier to tell us you've been granted special access to the excavation site. The area where they found the Oracle Drive is up ahead. It's exciting to think there may be other amazing objects buried there, too. Important relics have been detected nearby. Who knows? Any one of them might lead to an extraordinary discovery. Come on, Come on. Come on. We've been told to focus heavily on this area. Sources say something valuable may be buried here. Various records of magic and sorcery are being uncovered in the Padra ruins. There was a spell to summon Eidolans. It was a forbidden art, though, as it shortened the Conjurer's lifespan. The people of the past must have lived in fear of, but had respect for, ones who held such powers. Yes? Is 
the director done with his error? If a paradox originates here but is resolved, I wonder if it'll be like nothing ever happened. People are quick to forget the past. Although even if the paradox disappears, some people are bound to remember. Docs originate. I wonder if it'll. Having worked on excavation sites for years, I can pinpoint areas where valuable objects are most likely buried. I wish something would happen. Right then, where's the gate that fits this key? I don't sense anything strange within the ruins, <laughs> but I did feel a disturbance from the direction of the mountains. <laughs> Good. I still find it hard to believe, though, that my memories can just change like that. Legend? Many years ago, there was a young girl who worshipped the seeress of Padra. With much training and dedication, the girl secured herself a position as one of the protectors of the seeress. But when war broke out in the city, the girl was fooled by the enemy and wound up betraying the one she set out to protect. Charged with treason, the girl faced severe punishment. She was turned into a Seath and was forced to wander the Yashas Masif for all of eternity. According to the legend, she's still there, waiting for someone to defeat her and help put her soul to rest. I don't know how much truth there is to that story, but if you ever spot a seat in the ruins, you should do it justice and kill it. You'd be doing it a favor by putting it out of its misery. If you want to set her free, I won't stop you. But remember, even though she used to be a human being, she's a monster now. Stay on your toes out there, or you'll end up losing your life. <laughs> Excuse me, I don't mean to take up too much of your time, but did you see some strange lights last night? Someone witnessed three stars falling from the sky. I thought it could be a meteorite of some sort, but there's no evidence of that anywhere. It's possible it burned up before it reached our atmosphere. If you see anything that looks out of place, please let me know. What is it? Yeah. He's coming. Hmm. Hello. Huh? Oh. What is it? <laughs> hmm? I'm counting on you. Come to me if you notice anything strange. By the way, the witnesses noticed something interesting about the stars. They said that all three of them were different colors. Three different colored stars falling from the sky. It sounds like it could be connected to something quite mystical, don't you think? Why do people like cats, anyway?
on this bright and sunny day. Yeah. I think it's time to hit the beach, don't you? Yeah. That looks fun. Yeah. Huh? The more we dig, the more we discover. We found records of a great war that took place on Grand Pulse long ago. Little by little, we're finally starting to uncover the history of this world. The secrets hidden within these ruins are the key to the future. It's ironic that a people destroyed by war are teaching us how to live in peace.
No, we can change the future, can't we? We can, and we will. Then we can go back to homes that we've made safe. Lightning. Thanks to Hope, I can see light at the end of the tunnel. He told us that if we solve the paradox, we can save the future. Meanwhile, in his own way, and in his own time, Hope is working toward the same goal. Together, we can keep Cocoon safe. And if we do, then I know I'll be able to bring you home. I believe this with all my heart. What the heck is this place? Whoops, wrong turn. Um. I guess if we don't resolve the paradox, this place will stay suspended in limbo. Doesn't look like there are any other gates either. Go back to the Historia Crux, Kupo. Yeah, Mog is right. We should turn back. Kupo? You mean Valhalla? Could lightning be here? No. Something's different. Oh, oh. This isn't Valhalla. It 
looks like it, sure, but it's not the same. This is the rift between gate and gate. It's the void beyond Kubo. So, are you saying we're lost? Kubo. Right. Kubo. I need a break. isn't gonna be easy. We had a legend back home about a goddess. Huh? We hunters passed the story down from father to son. It gave us strength when times were tough. What was it? Never give up, for the goddess Etro watches always and helps those who help themselves. much of a legend, really, is it? It sounds more like common sense to me. <laughs> yeah. But when the going gets rough, you don't need anything complicated. Just a reminder to stick things out. Let's just keep telling ourselves that every time we go through a gate, we're getting closer to lightning. Sound good? Come on! <laughs> sounds good. Seems weird enough. How is it different from Valhalla? The void is simply a shadow of Valhalla. It's a space that connects the gate's entrance and exit, Koopa. Let's go check it out. Thank you. 